Um, I, I think that it works two ways between a football player and a club. And I think the, the, the synergy between a player and a club needs to be better because a, a, a club always wants more and then the player always wants more. But there needs to be a synergy between when it is the right time and when, when not. Players ask for, for everything, they want a higher salary straight away but they're not willing to start lower and on a increased levels, increase with performance to reach that level. I, I for example, I, uh, I'm with performance related contracts because I'm, 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 uh, I'm confident in my own ability that I will reach those goals. So I would want to start lower and, and, and prove and reach those goals instead of being higher, but I think that it, kept, it could be managed much better, so it would be a win-win situation for the player that performs really well, and as well for a club that, with the player performing well, will reap the benefits and then uh, jointly um, uh, reap the benefits really together. I think just the, the organisations in a whole as a football club, being a player uh, organizations are the clubs aren't really open for players sticking the nose in what's happening even though the, I was really open I want to know more clubs are really want to keep distance from players you play football and that's your job but I was always interested in what what's happening why are we doing this why why don't we do 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 different things so now it's really helpful to see it really from the board level Instead of me looking from ground level up, it was nice to see uh, the other way around from the, from the board level, from every department, to see how everything implicates what happens and, and uh, everything is important to maximise what's possible on the football pitch. So it was really nice to see it from the other way around, not just from uh, a footballer's eyes. I, I agree because I, uh, if you take the, all the experience that you like, the roller coaster you go through as a player, you you meet good people, bad people, you make right decisions, wrong decisions, you win and lose, and you are you need the people around you because in football and a sport person, you need people around you. If you're an individual sport or a group sport, team sport, you need people, and we work together because we have a, a goal, a destination, and we know alone we can't we can't go there. So we are really good outside of the football as well because we are highly driven. We have uh, we can work under pressure really well. Uh, we can make decisions, and we can stick and we can stick with the decision whether it's right or wrong because we are confident at the time that that decision is right. And then we live with the the, the right or wrong decisions. So we can uh, we can make hard decisions, but. With, there's a reason behind it, and that's reaching our goals. So we can, I wouldn't say cold-hearted, but we can be more determined on making decisions and sticking with the plan because we, we want to reach, we want to win, we want to reach that final goal. So I think sportsmen within a company can show um, qualities of, of management, quality of leadership, and, uh, and, and the desire to, to reach a goal. I hope that more football players will, will look at uh, other ways than coaching. For me, you, every year players retire and become coaches. But if you count the jobs, there are only a certain amount of uh, coaching jobs. There are only a certain amount of teams, a certain amount of clubs, and then will, they will not increase. On the other side of football, the business-related side of football is always growing. So you always need people with that experience, that network, that uh, quality that players have. And I do think that footballers are better and they can cope with it, they can learn, they are quick learners, so they could work on the business side of football and they don't have to be on the, the football side. But I think they need the education and a little bit of awareness that this is the possibility and, and someone to give them the, 
the trust to give them a chance to work because then first you will you get the quality out of the player when you give them you know the the, the confidence in, in in being inside of a football club and actually making a difference. I've travelled a lot and I've seen a lot of clubs and federations and I met uh, leaders in sport all over the world. Um, what really interests me now is the, the mindset of an organisation, the attitude of an organisation to really input a high performance uh, culture and I want to be related to the football side, so the technical side of football, but I would like a football club to be structured with a high performance mindset and uh, that's what I've really has caught my eye and I really believe that is the future of football. And uh, I think in the next five or ten years, you will see that concept uh, more um, within the bigger, bigger clubs. Some clubs have it, but I think that in the future, that will be the change on the manager side. As it, it doesn't cost any money, it's, it's just implementing a mindset, an attitude, and a desire to reach a goal. And you can maximize, maximize it within any budget. So I really believe that. That uh, is the future of management side of, of football.